in the uh, volcano region of northern Rwanda and we're going to be looking at an active EWBUSA program in the village of Munini in the sector of Chanika. So as part of this review, we've met with the village chief in Munini. We met with the representative, the project coordinator from the NGO partner village makeover and the maintenance representative from the village committee. The way that this partnership developed is the EWB USA chapter worked with the local NGO village makeover and the local government sector here to identify which cells in this region needed water the most. This community in particular, Munini, had uh, no access to water in town. They walked 50 minutes each way to a nearby lake to get their water, or they dug a hole and lined it with a plastic tarp and collected rainwater that way. Now that they have the rainwater catchment tank, we talked to some of the community members about what they do with all of that extra free time. And an interesting perspective is that they feel privileged now that they can work more with that time. Um, whereas we might hope they get a little bit of a break, they view that as the opportunity for success. They're no longer tired for walking two hours total to get their water. And, um, and now they can work harder to develop their community. So the four rainwater catchment tanks are located on the site of the village chief's office and the water committee collects uh, money from the users as they fill their jerry cans at the tap. The tanks are just behind this building here, so let's go take a look. So these are the four rainwater catchment tanks that were installed in the community's corn storage building. Um, as you can see, a number of the taps have locks on them. The way that the water community manages this system is they collect fees at the tap when users fill up their bottles. And when they're not here and available to collect the money, then they lock the system. This committee is in charge of maintenance of these tanks and to date, in the last two years, they've had no problems with anything failing or any parts being stolen because of their diligence in collecting those fees and putting them to good use to keep the systems operational. And we've met with one of the representatives from the Village Water Committee. Um, this is Kabakiera. She is in charge of access to the taps for the users. So either she or a member of her family uh, have a presence here at the taps to collect the users' fees. Eagle. 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 Eagle.